Hi, this is Carl Berkeley with Mac User's Guide. Uh, today we're going to be taking apart a Mac Mini. These are some of the tools you'll need. A Jewelers Phillips number 0 screwdriver, a Phillips number 1 screwdriver, a nylon probe or some sort of um, wooden dowel um, shish kebab skewer works really well, a uh, soft cloth to lay down your uh, Mac Mini on, a screw tray to kind of keep things uh, together, and a putty knife. It needs to be 1.5 inch roughly. Uh, two inch will work and it needs to be a flexible ba blade and maybe one that is tapered. I should also include here a quarter or a small coin works really well in prying the back of the housing off. I found that that's the uh, easiest way to get the the Mac Mini to separate. I'll be showing that. Let's start. Um, first you want to make sure obviously shut down your computer, unplug any external cables and cords, and then you definitely want to touch a piece of metal or something to help you discharge any static electricity on your body. Um, make sure that the power cord is unpl uh, unplugged. And if you have an ESD wrist uh, strap, you want to wear one of those. It definitely helps you when you are dealing or, or working around um, uh, the power supply. Uh, place the computer on a clean, flat surface and turn the computer over so the ports are facing up at the bottom of the computer. To avoid scratching or denting the case, use caution when using the putty knife. Hold the putty knife, um, preferably in your more dominant hand, and find the gap on the left side of the computer um, and basically put the putty knife between you or the metal and the uh, uh, plastic bottom piece. Gently um, pry and you'll hear some clicking and some uh, some popping sounds. Those are the internal latches uh, popping loose, um, re removing the, the top housing from the bottom. Repeat the procedure if you can on the right side. I found it very difficult to do that, so I am used a different technique. I'm putting down a baseball card um, on the back where the ports are and using a quarter to basically pry it open. Next, on the um, I.O. panel, once you have both sides up off the metal housing, Take your two thumbs and push up until the housing is removed. Again, you'll hear popping sounds. That's totally normal when removing the top from the bottom. Next, you'll have to remove three connections. The airport antenna connection, the hard drive sensor cable, and the flexible cable on the audio board from the connector on the interconnect board. With a Jewelers Phillips number zero screwdriver, uh, you'll have to remove four screws on the internal frame. Bottom left, screw is longer than the other three screws. Be sure to keep this in mind. Lift the internal frame straight up off the bottom of the housing. Flip over the internal frame to expose the hard drive. Using a Phillips number one screwdriver, remove the four hard drive screws. With a nylon probe, or in my case, a shish kebab skewer, pry the hard drive off the connectors and the interconnect board. Pull the hard drive in the directions of the speakers. Pull the hard drive in the direction of the speaker. Using the tab at one of the corners, remove the foam padding. Once you're ready, replace the hard drive. Place the Mac Mini speaker up, then place the hard drive into the slot, tilting it slightly and letting it drop into place. Then push down slightly at the top of it and it'll just snap into place. To finish things up, just replace the four screws. To 
put your Mac Mini back together, just put it back down in front of you, align the top and the bottom again, and then gently wiggle it until the top and the bottom align on the four screw holes. One quick tip here, you want to make sure that the airport pigtail comes up in between where the flex cable and the vent housing is. Next you want to reestablish the three connections that you removed. The hard drive sensor, the flexible cable on the audio board, and here you want to basically just stick the pins back in and slide the connector back down. And finally, the airport antenna. Here you'll just have to pinch and push down. It'll snap into place. Finally, replace the four screws that you removed at the beginning and then flip over the metal housing. Put the main part of the Mac Mini back into the metal housing. Lever it down by starting at the front of the Mac Mini and then slowly start working those plastic clips back into place and then finally pushing down and it'll snap all back into place. You can learn more about this and other tips at macusersguide.com's help desk or tune in every week to our podcast series.